is your media mapping so weirdly implemented? But let's be honest, at least there's an actual possibility to set it up. But it definitely took me a while to get it working. Freebeat dedicated an entire video to media mapping on the MPC1 on his channel, but following his instructions didn't really help me. None of the knobs I turned on my Mini Lab 3 would trigger any media events on the MPC1. Playing the keyboard, however, worked. So did the modulation strip. So the Atari keyboard wasn't broken after all. But what was? Nothing. It turns out the ability to react to controller messages is turned off by default on the MPC1. It just has to be switched on manually in the MIDI control menu. How is it done, you ask? Well, you go into main mode and head over to preferences, select MIDI sync and activate the control button next to the MPC listed in the input ports. Now go back to main mode, find MIDI control, find the register MIDI learn, enable mapping and MIDI learn by pressing the correspondent buttons, add a source, add a target and five hours later you're ready to go. And now it works. Great job, but... Why? Is your media mapping so weirdly implemented?